Hello, my intuitive friends. I hope that you're well. I have a question for you. Have you ever wanted to do something, had an aspiration or a dream or an idea, and you've looked into it and you've researched it and you've tried to make it work, but it's just never quite come together. So you move on. You left that dream in abeyance. You probably didn't think much more about it. And you left it because there are other things in life that needed your attention. It's happened to me. And something that I wanted to do years ago has, a decade or more later, come into fruition. And I want to tell you about how it works because it's really intuitive and otherworldly the way this happened. Years ago, I wanted to sell some spiritual products. I wanted to have a little store. And the reason, one of the motivations for wanting to do that is during my decades and spiritual adventure, people have suggested and recommended things to me and I've bought stuff. And honestly, I've bought a lot of tat. Stuff that I didn't really understand what it was. I didn't understand the energy, the power of it, the symbolism, the meaning. I didn't understand why I would need it. Someone I kind of respected said, oh, this is what you need. And I kind of got it. And the second thing was as well, as well as not really understanding it, the second thing was the quality would be really disappointing that they didn't last very long. And so I ended up with waste, which kind of really didn't sit well with me. So I had this ethos of why can't there be really good products that come with some teaching, some guidance, some, some help of what you do to use them and how you embrace them to live an intuitive life. And also to find out if it's for you before you buy it. So those are my two motivations. You know, it was about quality and not having waste and having lovely things instead of tightening your home and understanding what to do with them. And I researched, I researched, I looked at where I could buy things from, I looked at what they were, but it kind of all felt very faceless. Um, you know, it didn't feel the right quality, it didn't feel like it fit with my values. So I moved on with life and I did other things and carried on. And about a month ago, my phone started doing very strange things. So every time I put my phone on a surface, something would pop up on the screen. And it varied from an email. So not just my email account list and the emails, a specific email would pop up. Um, my contacts list would pop up and not starting at A, it could be anywhere in the alphabet. Um, a news story could pop up. And again, not just a news website, a particular story. These things kept kept happening and I kept paying attention because when something unusual like that comes up, it's like, okay, I need to pay attention to this. The universe is trying to tell me something. And then one day something popped up for a wholesaler. The name caught my attention, the products caught my attention and I thought, mm, I'll just have a cheeky look. And two hours later, <laughs> um, I thought maybe, maybe this is what I was this is what I was looking for all those years ago. So the two hours was spent looking online at the range of products and the prices um, and trying to assess the quality. It was based on when the company was started, the ethos, what do they do? Where do they get their products from? Do they know the source of the products? Is it just faceless things that they're buying in from around the world? And I could satisfy myself that it wasn't. And someone from this organisation visits these suppliers overseas, looks at what they're doing, meets the families who make some of these products because they're made by families. Some, yes, are kind of a bit more mass produced, but I just liked the whole ethos. And I thought, well, the only thing to do now is to order a few products and see if I like them. So one of the first things I ordered were these roll-ons, aromatherapy, essential oil roll-ons. And I got three. I got fall asleep, wake up, and just focus. And the fall asleep one I love, use it every night. I put it on twice at night. So if you're unfamiliar with these, you just, it's got a little roller ball, and you just pop it a little bit on your pulse points and your wrists, and I do it on my temples when I go to sleep. And I love it. It's not too strong. It fades away quite quickly, so it's, the smell is not hanging around. And I'm not a morning person, so wake up helps me. And I use this just before I start a piece of work to try and help keep me focused. Because when you have a lot of ideas coming in, focus can be quite difficult. Um, I purchased some dupe pouches as well, which I really love. Um, they could be makeup bags, they could be pencil cases. I put those in them. And so after the first set of products, I thought I like this. And very quickly, I bought some more. 
and I bought some more and then I started to tell people about them and then something else happened and that was something else that I've loved for a long time is this, the idea of medicine bags. So you may be familiar with it, particularly in Native First Nations Americas, um, uh, peoples and communities. And around the world, there's this idea of a bag or a pouch for medicine. And it can be about physical me mending and healing and medicine, but it's about the inner healing, the soul healing. So it may contain a stone, a pebble, a feather, all things of significance that can be used for otherworldly he healing, sometimes shamanic healing. Um, but what different communities and tribes around the world, you know, keep their precious things in. And I've had a little pink pouch with a gold on given to me as a present that I've used for a long time as my medicine bag. And as I looked at all these beautiful projects, I started to curate, curate these different bundles. So I call them spirit bundles, and it's completely inspired by the idea of a medicine bag. But what we can use in the Western world, and obviously I want to respect ancient traditions, I'm not going to call it a medicine bag. So I call it a spirit bundle as part of your spiritual adventure. So you can buy a number of different things together in a bundle and see what works for you and what you like. And that is how my online store came together. A dream I had long ago that had fallen into abeyance, completely forgotten about it. Something completely out of the blue came up on my phone decades later, probably about 12 years later since I first thought about this. And like that, it's just happened. There was no thinking about it. I just did it. So there's two reasons for sharing this video. One is to tell you about the online store, but secondly, and I think more importantly, is to tell you if you had a dream of something years ago and it's fallen in abeyance or it ne never came together, it doesn't necessarily mean it's never going to happen. It might do because it might be something that was never meant for you and by it not working out, that's the universe or the spirit's way, spirit's way of protecting you. But it could be like me, it just has to come at the right time, when you're ready, when the right resources are around and available to you to do it. So if you have had a dream, if you have a dream that's fallen by the wayside, just give it a little, give it a little tickle this next week, nurture it, see what it has to tell you. The time might not still be right, but the desire might still be there, and if the desire for it is still there, just hold it, be patient, and know that if it's meant to be, it will happen. Thank you for watching all of this. I really appreciate it. Take care. Bye.